New at four, North Carolina lawmakers taking steps to try to combat an alarming uptick in thefts impacting drivers. Reports of catalytic converter thefts to Raleigh police are up 312% this year compared to 2020. State lawmakers joining more than 20 other states this month in passing a law to criminalize illegally possessing these converters. I team reporter Samantha Coomer joining us now to share how this crime is costing you a lot of money. Hi, Sam. Hey, good afternoon. Raleigh police telling me they've already responded to 161 reports tied to this theft this year. For context, two years ago, they only responded to less than 40 for the entire year. So this spike is really causing auto shops, drivers, and lawmakers to push back. This increase is largely caused by an increased value of the precious metals that these parts contain. Experts say these parts can be sold for up to $1,500. Joey Bendito, who runs Benchmark Mark Auto Works in downtown Raleigh says the cost to the customer is even higher, ranging from $800 to $3,000. Now, even if your car hasn't been impacted yet, these crimes are costing you because thieves are also going after state owned vehicles paid for by your tax dollars. State agencies reporting catalytic converter thefts have led to a loss of $187,000 over the past five years. 80% of that loss occurred in the last year. Now, the rise of these thefts led North Carolina lawmakers to make it a class one felony to illegally possess one of these converters. This action was taken by more than 20 other states. Bendito says this might help, but really to cut down on these thefts, the incentive and the ability for people to turn around and sell them needs to be taken away. You really have to stop where the people are able to be able to sell them. Like if you try to go to a local scrapyard you, and walk in with a catalytic converter in your hand, you can't sell that to them. They won't take it. Um, but there are people that travel through from other states and they'll buy them in bulk. I get calls all the time trying to buy my catalytic converters. And uh, I have a local guy that takes care of it responsibly the way it's supposed to be. Coming up 530, I'm going to break down what vehicles are most at risk and what steps you can start taking now to make sure you're not the next victim. Live in Raleigh, Samantha Coomer, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.